We're back in the ZEC and we're taking another deep dive into the supply chain. And once again, Royston Pua, the vertical practice lead for the supply chain at Zebra, is joining me. Now, Royston, I want to talk about a bit of a touchy subject. And it's a subject and a topic that has been uh, plagued us for many years now. And that is stock shortages in the supply chain. Right. I know, it's a challenging question. Now, we've, we've all experienced it in all facets of our lives. Uh, we've, we've experienced the, the shortages over the, you know, the, the COVID pandemic period. Uh, but what can enterprises do to try to manage stock shortages better? Absolutely a good question. Uh, very good question to ask, Andrew. Now, the first thing is this. Shortages actually occur due to several reasons. Right? Some of these reasons are, for example, due to disruptive events that are within or beyond the control of man. Right. It could also be related to a process that needs to be more effective. Right. Uh, it could also be due to the way that businesses are being operated. By this, we mean whether they're operating uh, uh, in, in a partnership basis or collaboratively, or they're being uh, operating in a siloed basis, on a siloed basis. So whichever the, uh, the scenario is, Yes, shortages actually can be mitigated or even eradicated if one leverages technology, the appropriate technology, right, uh, undergoes the uh, appropriate business uh, process re-engineering uh, activities so that the design flows that are more collaborative in nature and not siloed be able to share data and insights that are captured on a real-time basis across the ecosystem, leveraging uh, the correct systems, as I mentioned earlier on, technologies. There's a wide, uh, there's a plethora of technologies there. Uh, you could refer to actually uh, AIDC technologies, which uh, for which Zebra is actually a uh, accredited leader in, right, by uh, enforcing, if you will, digitization, right, so that you can actually capture the material uh, the uh, information flows, if you will, the material flows from source to destination. Much can be done to solve this problem, but it has to be uh, undertaken by the team and not on an individual basis. One of the things I think is it all comes down to visibility. You know, when, when you're sitting there and you ring up your supplier and you say, well, when am I going to get that stock? It all comes down to that word visibility again, which we, we use quite often. And I think we take for granted that word visibility a lot. What are your thoughts on visibility and the technology that's needed? Well, I think, you know, uh, visibility can be had if, again, the appropriate technology is deployed, right? Again, um, being able to track activities, information, once again, from source, to destination, because that's what supply chains are about, right? From upstream flows to downstream flows, from planning, sourcing, all the way to uh, manufacturing, to transportation and fulfillment, and vice versa. Supply chains, like I said, are complex, right? So visibility will be complex. It has to be in real time. It has to contain the necessary or the critical information that is required, right? This takes time to perfect. It certainly needs uh, the human element to be able to collaborate. And like I said early on, the correct systems and technologies to be able to capture the data, to actually process the data, and to disseminate the data on a real-time basis. Well, as you can see, visibility, automation, streamlining processes, common words that keep on coming up, and all those things is what Zebra is trying to help you achieve to get to that point where your supply chains flow easily. Just jump online, visit zebra.com to find out more about some of the solutions that can help you.